Breast cancer is the most common cancer. In 2020, there were more than 7,000 cases here in Michigan. Given the widespread risk, Sparrow offered free breast exams out of its mobile clinic today. News 10's Aaron Bowling sat in on one of those exams and shows us what people can expect. Checking into Sparrow's mobile clinic with her sister on Thursday, Tammy Goulding got her first breast exam in 15 years. Because I haven't had health insurance for a while and it's too expensive, can't afford it. So, in fact, I waited anxiously for this day because I wanted to get it done and see what's going on. With a great grandmother that died of breast cancer and a friend that survived it, she says she drove an hour all the way from Saginaw for the free exam. I'm glad that I did it because, you know, I kind of worry about things like that and my health and staying healthy. I want to see my grandkids. There's just so much comfort in knowing so many of our routine screenings these days are being pushed earlier and earlier in terms of when we recommend starting them. If you're overdue or if your breast exam inside the mobile clinic comes up as abnormal, we'll send you inside for a free same day mammogram. They were easy to talk to and I just enjoyed their company <laughs> and you know just laughed with them and joked around with them. They were really nice. Full health evaluations can be included with the breast exam ranging from prescriptions to flu shots. Those working at the clinic say it's all about accessing those who are in need. And who might otherwise really have negative outcomes just because they didn't have that access provided. You should come out here and do it. Just, just because. Find that time to do it, just like I did. Free, quick, easy, and life-saving. In Lansing, Aaron Bowling, News 10. Sparrow's Mobile Health Clinic is entirely funded by donors and an endowment. The clinic will host more free breast exams on October 26th, and we have that information on our website at WILX.com. Well, it is cold, flu, and RSV season, and the state is urging.